Hey everyone! You are studying anatomy and find it tricky to memorize all those complex terms? You feel overwhelmed? Don't worry, you're not alone. Human anatomy is complex and there are around 8,000 anatomical structures to learn. Today, I'll show you four simple steps to help you lock them into your brain for good. Whether you're a medical student, a nursing student, or just interested in anatomy, these tips will make your life so much easier. So let's dive in. Step one, organization. A good study schedule goes a long way. So dividing the workload evenly and setting a timeline is essential. Trust me, it will make your life so much easier. Instead of trying to memorize everything at once and getting more and more frustrated by it, try to group them into categories. For example, instead of trying to remember random terms all at once, break them down like this. Muscles, biceps brachii, triceps brachii, deltoid, bones, femur, tibia, scapula, nerves, sciatic nerve, vagus nerve, radial nerve. For organizing words into related groups, your brain creates connections, making it much easier to recall them later. The next step that'll help you a lot, visualization. Your brain loves images, so the more you connect a word to a picture, the better you remember it. You could use anatomy atlases or 3D models to see structures in context. Maybe try to locate the areas on your own body. For example, if you're studying muscles, feel them on your own body while trying to say their names out loud. That is a way to make those terms a real thing. Another good visual aid is color-coded notes. Use red for arteries, blue for veins and yellow for nerves. Draw simple sketches to reinforce memory. You don't have to be an artist, just mapping things out helps. Generally speaking, the more you engage visually, the better you remember. Now, let's go to the real challenge. Step three, memorization. Instead of rote learning and not really understanding the new language you're trying to learn, try these easy techniques. First, break it down. You take complex words and split them into parts. Most anatomical terms have Greek or Latin roots that give you clues about their meaning. For example, take sternocleidomastoid. Sounds crazy, right? But if we split it, sterno means sternum or chest bone. Clido refers to the clavicle or collarbone. Mastoid relates to the mastoid process, part of the skull. It will not only seem those big words seem way less intimidating, but finding the meaning behind the word will automatically help your brain memorize it. The next thing that'll help you to keep the anatomical terms in your brain are mnemonics. Use funny or weird sentences to remember sequences. They serve as little memory tricks that help you recall complex terms. For example, instead of remembering all the cranial nerves, olfactory, optic, oculomotor, we use the mnemonic OOO to touch and feel very green vegetables. Each first letter stands for a cranial nerve. You can make up your own mnemonics too. Funny, weird or personal ones work best. These are completely up to you. You can even picture something weird, like imagining the trapezius muscle as an actual trapeze artist swinging on your shoulders. Now that you know a few techniques to memorize those words, it's time for the fourth and final step to become an anatomy expert. Test yourself. You don't truly know something until you can recall it without looking at your notes or textbook. Flashcards, no matter if physical or digital, will be your best friend. You could also use sticky notes all over your room. The more you force your brain to recall information, the more those words will stay in your brain. Your brain is like a muscle. The more you use it, the better it works and the stronger those memories become. These were the four key steps to memorize anatomical terms. Just in case you don't recall them all, let's recap. One, organize your terms into categories and have a good schedule. Two, visualize structures with diagrams, color codes and sketches. Three, memorize using mnemotics, word breakdowns and associations. Four, examine yourself using flashcards, recall techniques and repetition. I promise you, if you follow these steps, you'll see a huge improvement in how easily and quickly you learn anatomy. If you found this helpful, click the link below and read the full article for free. CanUp offers lots of tools that help you memorize everything you need to know. We have quizzes that are a great alternative to flashcards. They are ready to be used and you don't have to create them from scratch. We also have videos with engaging animations that help you learn the terms faster. And articles that have all the material organized for you. They are built with an easy to read structure, so they're definitely worth checking out. Register at CanUp for free today and give it a try. So see you in the next video.